everybody and welcome back to my channel. In today's episode I will be finishing off the Mashuga's um, house, their interior. So in The Sims 1 they were really crazy, really colourful, it was pretty wild and on The Sims Wiki it says that their name means um, crazy. So I have gone and given them both the insane trait and I am going to make the interior sort of weird and colourful and crazy as possible. Um, I know the exterior doesn't look like it but I feel like exteriors you can't really change like in real life the way you can interiors. Like interiors you can make your house and the inside look as crazy as possible but since a lot of houses are pre-built you can't really design them not unless you have an architect and you design your own house can you really you know get a lot of your personality out there so I thought the exterior I would try and just keep it as like a normal looking family home but the ex interior is really I'm gonna go really crazy and just try and make it as colorful and as weird as possible at first it was probably not crazy enough so you will see me go in and try and just change it all and make it as colourful and bright as possible like with the countertops at first I had them all green but I thought nope I'm gonna go in and I'm gonna make every single counter a different colour <laughs> like I know in real life you can't make, probably do that with your counters but I thought maybe they painted the drawers or whatever with these crazy different colours um it's just like a lot of fun to go as weird and as wild as possible since a lot of the families they're just like normal families so it is a lot more fun when you can go a wee bit wilder you know with a couple of sims I think they're probably the wildest and the craziest sim um, family in the whole game so I really wanted to utilize like um, doing a wee bit of crazier color wee bit crazier interior um, and I do have two spare rooms so if you decided that you want them to have kids I will leave them empty because you can have like you can let them have kids or maybe you can change the room into like a photography studio or, or, or a music studio I don't know but um, I decided just to leave those two rooms empty and sort of let like the player decide what they're going to do with it so as I said before, I was at first going to have it all green, but then I decided I'm just going to make it all crazy, what she will see later on. Um, just because their house was so wild in The Sims 1, I will put up a before picture of their house at the end of the video, just so you can sort of see if you don't remember what their house looked like, because it was very extreme, it was very colourful and I want to try and replicate that because although like I'm pretending that because this is a wee bit later on so they might have gained a bit more money and bought a fancier home that um you know you don't lose your sort of personality so that's why I wanted to make it as you know crazy and colorful and fun as possible because not a lot of sims characters like them they're very original so that's why i wanted to go you know as crazy as possible and it was a lot of fun um so and it kind of sucks that they never brought them back they were only in the sims one and they were such fun characters but i guess since maybe it isn't the nice um the nicest thing that they were crazy because crazy has such a connotation with like mental illness and that and maybe they are sort of a touchy family to bring back but um I'm not meaning crazy in that sort of way I have gone that's where I don't really like the insane trait I have given it to them I normally don't give it to any sims but just because you can't really help mental illness I don't think it really should be a trait in the sims but I thought I wouldn't use it otherwise and at first I didn't have them with that trait but I just wanted to show that this is like keep it as stereotypical as possible just to show and you can swap it out if you don't like want them to have it but um that's what their name means and 
it's there. I feel like that might be why they haven't came back. I don't know, but that's my guess just because it isn't the nicest um, that they've been called crazy or whatever just because of the connotation with that word. But I try to keep the house as, you know, fun as possible, really colourful, really mismatchy, just try to give as much colour as possible. And I did it, I gave them wood floors and planar walls because, you know, it's sort of a furniture that you can have a lot more fun with. And as well, I hate carpet. I have carpet in my house and I hate it. I wish I had wood. <laughs> so all my Sims houses, they always have wood floors. I love wooden floors. Um, so yeah, and I, I've always just used wooden floors in the Sims. I honestly, carpet doesn't even cross my mind to put in. But I thought like your carpet and your walls, you can't easily change as much. So I'm kind of thinking that they just recently moved to this house and um, yeah so all they, they haven't really been able to put their personality into the house as much yet but they've still got a lot of their old furniture from their previous home but hopefully you enjoyed this video I have a lot of videos already uploaded and I have a lot more coming um, and hopefully I will see you next time please subscribe if you enjoy bye